The John P. Hussman Institute for Human Genomics was founded in 2007 by understanding what causes diseases or what increases one's risk for disease or even what protects some people against disease that may be inherited will help us in terms of precision medicine of the future. Within the Institute, there's four different centers. There's a Center for Genome Technology, Center for Molecular Biology, Center for Genetic Epidemiology and Statistical Genetics, and Center for Education and Outreach. Our department at the Miller School is in a unique position as an umbrella for research, medical genetics, education, and community outreach for all things genetics. Every discipline we tried to bring together into one structure, each of us contributing to the different areas that are involved in human genetic discovery. The John P. Hussman Institute is unique in the sense that we have a group of diverse, multidisciplinary scientists that work together on a daily basis in the same space. We're sharing data, resources, uh, and expertise. Together with sharing space, that means that we can maximize the funding that we've received. The study of complex diseases is moving towards the study of non-coding regions. So non-coding regions are the regions of your genome that don't make any protein and actually comprises of about 98% of your genome. We actually think these non-coding regions regulate how much of a protein is made. So what we're trying to do right now is trying to understand which regions in these non-coding regions are active, are currently affecting how much of your protein is being made. To help us understand the role that genetic and epigenetic variation plays on different disease processes, we use induced pluripotent stem cell based models. So using induced pluripotent stem cells, we're actually able to model disease by taking these stem cells and creating different types of cells that would be relevant for a specific disease process. The use of induced pluripotent stem cells is particularly effective for this study of neurodevelopmental disorders like autism spectrum disorder because it allows us to take these stem cells and go through the steps that they would normally go through during development and we can actually model these steps and begin to understand how these steps might be affected by individuals who have the genetic susceptibility for autism spectrum disorder compared to individuals who do not have this susceptibility. So the use of iPSCs can be used for a variety of other neurological disorders, including Alzheimer's disease, Parkinson's disease, amyotropic lateral sclerosis, and it's being applied in many of these, not only to understand the process and the modeling of the disease, but also as a means of identifying therapeutic targets, as well as drug discovery. Our clinical genetics group, which is so successfully led by Dr. Mustafa Taken, is the largest in the state of Florida, and offer services to all groups as well as laboratory services and newborn screening. We, we offer comprehensive genetic services to all ages and for all indications in Miami. We see patients in our general genetics clinics as well as in specialty clinics where we see patients together with experts in other fields. We have a busy program in inborn areas of metabolism we are the referral center for Florida newborn screening program in South Florida. Also, we have uh, a biochemical genetics and molecular genetics laboratory to support our program. We have a very uh, energetic and um, passionate team that includes clinical geneticists, genetic counselors, nurses, dietitians, and clinical support staff. Our diagnostic laboratories include biochemical and molecular genetics laboratories, and those are important to support our clinical programs as well as training programs in clinical genetics and genomics. The open lab setting is also beneficial for uh, us teaching students of different levels. We have high school students, undergraduate, graduate, and medical students who come to us to learn about science. We're very proud of an innovative uh, new program that is a dual degree for medical students. They can earn a master's uh, in genomic medicine. And we anticipate that these students, when they go to medical practice, will actually more actively use genetic information in their practice. Because of our particular focus, we really want to make what we do here available to every group, no matter what their background is. And as we're doing more and more of this research now, when we can look at ancestral backgrounds of particular genes or pieces of chromosomes, 
we know that it's not one size fits all. So I think that's, that, that would be our goal, is to be able to say that we made a real difference in terms of developing therapies for some of these devastating disorders. Thank you.